Hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah, I'm back. Uh, where have I been? I just checked my, my last video. I haven't done a video in four months. That's like a record for me. I used to be a YouTube addict, as all my loyal subscribers know, but I've been taking a break as of late. I had a YouTube burnout, but I think now I'm back. Um, and now that I got the iPhone, which I had in my last video, but now that I'm getting back into it, I think I'm going to start making videos more frequently. So... What's a better way to get back into the videos than just being completely annoyed and just talking shit about everything and everyone? So we're just going to jump right into it right now. Number one on my list, I hear in a couple of days they're going to make Facebook timeline uh, mandatory. They're going to switch us over. Yo, I am so sick and tired of this fucking shit with Facebook, the constant changes and everything. Now, I know I said in my last video, if any of you watched it, that the Facebook changes don't really annoy me, but no, this timeline thing pisses me off. I think it's stupid, it's ugly, it's annoying, it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, some people would uh, made the banners out of their photos when they did the last update, when they put the photos at the top of the page, instead of having your most recent status at the top, they changed it. Which, you know, I wasn't a big fan of, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. I'm a Facebook fan, I gotta admit, but I like better to have the status at the top. But they took that down, and people were making banners out of the photos, you know, and they would all be, like, intertwined into one banner. So now they got the idea, let's just make a, a Facebook banner where you could just put the banner up and you don't have to intertwine the photos. You know something... It might sound like a good idea, but it's really not, because I didn't do the banner thing. So for someone like me, no. But a lot of people have switched over to the timeline. A lot of people like it. You're a stupid, dumb fuck if you did. Because now, because of you and your selfishness, all of us have to suffer. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Because now we all have to suffer because you like something fucking dumb. And it's a horrible change, and I'm not happy with it at all. But they're going to do it anyway. And, uh, you know, I'm complaining, but I'm still going to use Facebook. I still have not gotten into Twitter. If I see that a lot of people are getting into Twitter, then I will do the Twitter thing. But until then, I'm not going to do the Twitter thing because nobody I really know uses it that I even care about. There's a lot of people I know who use it, but nobody I really care to, uh, to, to go on there for because, you know, I'm not really interested in reading anybody's tweets. Now, my tweets, of course, would be epic, but I don't think you people are ready for my Twitter account to be launched into superstardom just yet, but maybe soon. Maybe in the next couple of months, I'll start up on the Twitter thing. Uh, but until then, I'm not really feeling it. If I'm not feeling it, no one else is going to feel it. That sounded perverted, but let's get past that. On to the next topic. Um, let's see here. What else is pissed me off? Oh, yeah, of course. 3D fucking movies. Enough with this fucking bullshit already. I had it up to here. And you know when I pretty much proclaimed my hate for 3D movies? When I saw The Immortals. That movie didn't need to be fucking 3D. First of all, I didn't really even like that movie all that much. It was okay. You know, all you people might have been ranting and raving about it. 300 still kicks its ass by a mile. But anyway... 3D is just so pointless because it's an old technology to start with. Remember the old 3D glasses and you open up your books, uh, the comics, and, and, and it would be in 3D, special comic books? Yeah, I remember that shit, and I wasn't even a big fan of it then. I was like, oh, look, it's popping off the page. Was amused for about a minute, then got tired, put the book away, and did something better. Because you know what? 3D fucking sucks, and it sucks when it's on the big screen, and you gotta pay five extra dollars just to see an, a piece of shit movie that... Is not going to be any better just because you watch it in 3D. It didn't need to be in 3D. It's stupid and pointless. I don't understand the concept of 3D movies because a lot of times they're not even really all that 3D. Now, every once in a while, there's something that looks like it's going to pop out at you. The Immortals was a great example of, of how 3D is just an epic fail because it didn't even really pop out at me all that much. It just was fucking stupid and a waste of it, of the 3D technology. I just don't like it. It's annoying having to wear those big bulky glasses. I mean, you know, 
it, it, it's just completely pointless in every way, shape, and form. And, but they're going to continue to do it because why? People go see them. But now again, you don't really have an option because a lot of these movies are mandatory in 3D. So you must pay the extra fee to see them depending on the theater you go to. Now a lot of times um, the fee will be the exact same thing if you go to a private movie theater. I happen to... Uh, go to a private movie theater sometimes and sometimes they pay, they make you pay the same exact thing you would for the normal movie ticket uh, some theaters offer both options sometimes they don't that's fucked up and I'm getting really sick of fucking 3D that's uh, it's fucking garbage uh, other thing I want to talk about um, Batman Arkham City probably one of the most amazing fucking games I've ever played personally. I played Mass Effect 2 not that long ago. That game was amazing. Um, Gears of War 3 is amazing uh, as from the multiplayer standpoint. But Arkham City, I just pl started playing this a couple of days ago. If you have not played this game yet, don't wait as long as I did. This game's graphics, it, the sound, controls, everything. Picture perfect in every way, shape, and form. The best controls, the best graphics, the best story, the best everything. It's really great. And, you know, I just can't recommend it enough. Well, you know what? I'm going to be back with another video. I'm going to cut this one a little short. Um, retool, revamp, and I'll be back soon. Try not to miss me.